Thanks, Junior. Hi, uh, Grant. Uh, hello, Alan. Got a minute? Uh, sure, what's up? Come on, let's go talk in the lounge. Dr. Perez? I'll see you. Mm, about the same? Mm hmm Did you happen to try out any of that advice that I gave you on how to handle it? Yeah, I tried it. It didn't work. What happened? Seemed he was very non-committal. I see. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. I think that I have a solution to your problem. I could certainly use one. What is it? Donnelly. Donnelly? He's back in town and I called him. You called Donnelly about my marital problems? I called Donnelly about our proposal on the medical ship, you turkey. All oh, right. Now, yeah, what did he have to say? He is very interested and he wanted to set up a meeting. Well, good. Let's set up a meeting. I already have. We have one at 5 o'clock today. Can you make it? I think so. That's great. We're on our way, partner. Uh, fine, except what did you mean about this being the solution to my problems with Celia? Ah, that's simple. Celia's a quarterman. She wasn't just born with a silver spoon in her mouth. She had the entire service in there. So? So that means that she is a woman who is not used to pinching pennies. To say the very least. Mm -hmm. Alan, what are you driving at? Once this deal with Donnelly gets rolling and the money starts pouring in, Celia's going to find you absolutely irresistible. Believe me, you're going to see such a change when she realizes that you are the kind of man who can keep her in the style to which she has grown accustomed. Dr. Banks, call the lab on Monday wouldn't it? Sure would. Never underestimate the power of money. And I'm a quarter man, I should know. See, you've had it kind of tough lately. But uh, a little money and a little understanding is going to go an awful long way. Certainly hope it works out that way. Alan, something has got to give.
and this isn't going to be easy, just going up to her and making small talk. You won't have to make small talk for very long, because Monica's message is going to arrive very, very quickly, and then it's going to be a perfect opening for you. Okay. I invite her out to dinner. Casually, Grant. That's the key. Well, I'm not feeling the least bit casual about this. But of course, she'll refuse you. Not necessarily. Oh, she will, believe me. She's not going to give you the satisfaction. But not to worry, because that's when your pal and partner, Alan Cutermain, comes to the rescue. I see. And how exactly does Alan Cutermain do that? Well, I just come sauntering along, and I give a little bit of idle chit-chat toward the both of you, and then I drop a couple of clangers about our business dealings. You're going to tell Celia about our proposal to Donna? No, I'm going to give her a few strong hints, which will whet her appetite, and then she's going to see you in a different light. Believe me, Grant, it's the only hope Alan, that you... if I have to intrigue my wife into having dinner with me, I'll do so on my own, and I'll do so in my own way. Don't underestimate my tactics, Grant. Women do respond to power and to money, and Celia's no exception. Mm. Be that as it may. If I have to fall back on that business deal, I'll do so myself. Okay. I'll be here if you need me. You just give me a signal. Is it all over, but the shouting? Absolutely. They went off to dinner together. No shouting, no harsh words. It went exactly as I planned. Oh, Grant did well. He was coached well. I used that one, one, not one more for the kid person. No, it was much <laughs> more precise than that. I'll tell you what, I only wish I could go down to the Porch Hall's Hotel and observe them during dinner. But I'm tied up at the clinic. Well, um, I'm going to be free. If you like, I could go down and do a little spying. Would you do that? If it's going to help the cause, yes. It is very, very important because we must observe Grant and you every step of the way. Well, now that you mention it, I really haven't been caught up with uh, Grant. Well, I've told you everything there is to know. Well, would you tell me exactly what Grant has going for him that will lure Celia back? Well, that's not for publication right now. Alan, you can give me hints. I am not at liberty to say, but Grant will be a winner. Dr. Quartermain? Doctor, this is the Snyder chart. Thank you. Now, you back again? Unfinished business. Is the phone in your office broken or something? Because all this running back and forth can't be doing you any good. Well, it's a bit difficult for me to relax knowing that my fate rests on the success of your plan. Well, did it work or not with Grant and Celia? He took her to dinner. And? And he's not back yet, so I don't know. But they must be very deep in conversation, which is good. That's idle speculation. Not entirely. I saw Celia's face absolutely light up during their chance encounter. Well, what made her do that? Grant planted an idea in her head. Oh, Grant Allen, if you know, tell me what specific idea are you talking about? The shadow knows and tells. Monica? I know all about Grant's deal. Deal, deal you told me, Alan, and I gotta say, she's not that impressed. I can't believe that. Well, let me put it this way. Grant's big deal has been a big flop to tell you. What big deal? Not to believe Monica, me. this is my announcement to make. Well, you've had your chance. Edward, it seems that Alan and Grant have gone into a business deal with Sean Donnelly. They have, uh, they're going to outfit a ship, and they're going to rig it with medical supplies, and they're going to go all over the world distributing and selling. You and Grant? Mm-hmm. You and Grant and Donnelly? Yes. You and Donnelly are in business together, and you didn't tell me? 